So today for math, we're going to be focusing on word problems. And we are going to be using an activating strategy so that we can remember with this acronym, C-U-B-E-S, cubes, all of the things that we need to remember when solving a word problem. When we look at the word problem, we are first gonna start with our C cube which is circle. What do I need to know? Or what do I know about the numbers? Then underline the question. What am I being asked to solve? That's our U for underline. Each one of you is going to get a set of cubes today so that as we're working through these word problems, you can be putting them together as I am. Then we're going to B, box the keywords are action words that tell us what to do to solve the problem. That's our B. Then our E is going to be evaluate and eliminate. What steps do I take and what information don't I need? Because that's how word problems like to trick you. They give you a bunch of information that you don't need in order to solve the problem. And then our very last one is S, solve and check. Did I answer the underlying question and how can I double check it? So today's word problem, we are going to toggle over to our presentation <coughs> and make this a little bit bigger for the slides on our slideshow. There we go. Our current slide says read and solve. Sophie has four pink dresses and 13 yellow dresses. How many more yellow dresses are there than pink dresses? So that's our question. We're gonna go back and look at our, at our problem. So C, we're gonna circle the numbers that we know. We know that Sophie has some red dresses and Sophie has some yellow dresses. So, Here's our gal, Sophie. And she's got all these dresses. When we look back at our problem, they told us, I'm not red dresses, she has pink dresses, sorry. Where's my pink marker, here it is. So Sophie has four pink dresses. And that's what we're going to write out. Sophie, has four pink dresses. And she has, I hope you can see the yellow, and she has 13, probably won't be able to see it, I might have to write it, yellow dresses. And they want to know how many more yellow dresses are there than pink. So if we look back at our, how we're going to solve our word problem and our word problem together. Let's see here. I might have to make it. There we go. So the first step they want us to do is circle the numbers. That's the C portion of our of our cube acronym. Circle the numbers, what do I know? Well, I know that Sophie has four pink dresses, so we're gonna circle that. They had to use yellow, yellow is so hard to see. Sophie has four pink dresses and 13 yellow and we're gonna circle the number 13. So that's what we know. The numbers that we know are four and 13. Now, the U part of our solving our word problems in cubes, using our cubes acronym is, what is the question that they're asking us? We have to underline. 
how many more yellow dresses are there than pink dresses? So that's what we're going to add. How many more yellow dresses are there than pink dresses. And since this cube is orange, that's what we're going to use. We're going to use orange, cray orange crayon, orange colored pencil, whatever you have with you, that's orange. And we're gonna underline the question. It says, what am I being asked to solve? I'm being asked to solve the how. How many more yellow dresses are there than pink dresses? That's the question. And let me make sure we have a question mark at the end. That's what they're asking me to solve. The next step for my yellow cube, my, my B, is for box. They want me to box the keywords, the action words. Am I going to add, subtract, multiply, divide? What am I going to do? What are my actions to solve this problem? <clears throat> so I'm gonna box, you can't really see it in yellow, but we're gonna try. How many more? My action words are right there. How many more? I wanna know how many more yellow dresses are there than pink? So more and yellow and pink. Those are my key words that I'm going to use to try to figure out how many dresses Sophie has. Now my E part, my green part, evaluate and eliminate. What steps do I take? What, do I, what information don't I need? or do I need all of the information that's in this question? Sophie has four pink dresses and 13 yellow dresses. How many more dresses are there than pink dresses? What steps am I going to take? How many more? How am I going to solve this problem? And then we're going to solve and check at the end. So we're gonna actually work this problem out move this up here. So we're going to evaluate and eliminate here. Our green, our green cube, our E. So Sophie has four pink dresses. We are going to use triangles to represent dresses. It's just the easiest way to draw a dress because if Sophie had a dress on, she would look like this. There's Sophie in her dress. So we're going to draw Right now, triangles. Sophie has four pink dresses. So you're gonna take your pink crayon or colored pencil marker and we're gonna draw four pink dresses. I'm gonna use black for the yellow because it's just easier to see, but you can use yellow on your paper because that's because you'll be able to see it. But underneath the document camera, yellow doesn't show up very well. And we're gonna draw 13 yellow dresses. So here are my four pink and my 13 yellow. <coughs> and if it makes it even better, you can just color them in if it bothers you that they're not yellow. So here are her 13 yellow drops. So now, I'm going to use my picture to help me solve this equation. How many more yellow dresses are there than pink? Well, let's mark them off. We're going to cross them off as we go. Let's use green since that's our evaluate color. Cross them off. 
cross out a dress, cross out a dress, cross out a dress. Take one from the pink, you take one from the yellow. She's got a pink one, take away a yellow, take away a pink, take away a yellow. Here is what I have left. Looking up here, if this was a 10 frame, which we're familiar with, if this was my tens frame, and I crossed one out, looking at this as a tens frame, how many do I have left? Well, if the top is full, I know automatically that's five. And my bottom's not full, there's one missing. So I have one, two, three, four. There's four left. So five, plus four is nine. So to answer our question, Sophie has nine more yellow than So we solved and we checked. And did I answer the underlying question? How many more yellow dresses are there than pink dresses? We answered it. Sophie has nine more yellow than pink. And then how can I double check? We can go back and look, but here's her pink dresses. We crossed off her four pink and this gives me how many she has left over that are yellow. We're gonna do this again with another problem. And then we did it, I did it. We're gonna do it together again with another problem and then I'll let you do it.